This is lesson 9-4. It's about arithmetic series. By the end of this lesson, you will know what a series is. You will be able to find the sum of an arithmetic series, and you'll be able to take an arithmetic series and write it into summation notation. So to start with, as a definition, a series is the sum of the terms of a sequence. So if I had a sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I added them up, then the sequence becomes a series. A series can be finite or infinite. An infinite series is one where you have a beginning and an end, a definite stopping point. So um, this first series is finite because we have a starting point here and an ending point here. The second series is also finite because we have a starting point at 3 and we'll end when we get to 90. But if this 90 were not here and we ended with the ellipses, then this would be an infinite series. So what we want to do with these series is find the sums of them. So the first one, we could just add 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 6 is 21. So the answer is 21 here. But on the second series, we don't want to have to add all those numbers. There's so many of them. There must be an easier way. So let's go back to our first series here and see if there's some sort of pattern with the numbers. So if we add this first term plus this last term, we get 7. If we add the next to last, we get 7. If we add the middle, we get 7. So to get 21 here, what we could do is take the first term plus the last term, which gives us 7, and multiply that by the um, number of pairs. So 7, and then there are 3 pairs, that gives us 21. That's the pattern that we're going to want to use when we have more difficult series like this bottom one. So here is the formula that we're going to use. This is what I was just pointing out. You take your first term plus your last term, and then you multiply it by the number of pairs you have. N is the number of terms in the sequence. Divide it by 2. That tells you how many pairs there are. So write down this formula somewhere. Keep it handy. Along with this formula, you're also going to want to remember the formula for an arithmetic sequence. So to find a term in the sequence, you take the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Get both of these down on paper and keep them handy. Okay, so we want to find the sum of even integers from 2 to 100. So using our formula, we're going to find the sum where we're going to take n divided by 2 to find how many pairs, and then our first term is 2 and our last term is 100. The problem is we don't know how many pairs there are in this series. So this is where the other formula comes in. We can calculate for n if we know all the other variables. So our last term is 100, our first term is 2, and our common difference is, we're talking about even integers, common difference is 2. So if we solve this formula for n, we get 100 equals 2 plus 2n minus 2. So 100 equals 2n, dividing by 2, we get 50. So we know there are 50 terms in this sequence. So we're going to add the first 50 terms in the series. That gives us 25 pairs times um, 2 plus 101, which is 102. So 25 times 102 gives us a total of 2,000. So the sum of the first 50 terms in the series is 2,550. Okay, here's another example. We're going to find the sum of all these terms. So we don't know how many terms there are, so we're going to have to figure that out. We do know the first term is 4 and the last term is 99. 
So using our arithmetic sequence formula, um, let me write it down. Our last term is 99. Our first term is 4. We're trying to find how many terms there are in this series. And our common difference is 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. 14 minus 9 is 5. So our common difference is 5. So we will first distribute the 5. Combine the 4 and the 5. 4 and the negative 5. Um, add 1 to each side. And divide by 5. So we're finding the sum of the first 20 terms. So the sum of the 20 terms would be equal to 20 divided by 2 gives us 10 pairs times 4 plus 99. So 4 plus 99 is 103. 103 times 10 is One thousand thirty.